So far, we've been thinking of skeletons as systems of hinged, rigid elements, either shafts of bone or tubes of chitin, articulated skeletons, in short. Surprisingly, the most versatile skeleton of all is water. This seems like a surprising thing to say, but it's only surprising because we've been thinking too narrowly about what skeletons fundamentally are. Most animals do not possess rigid elements as animals with articulated skeletons have. Nevertheless, these creatures are capable of remarkable versatility of movement, and they do so using water as skeletons rather than bone or chitin. The reason's quite simple, but we have to think a little bit outside the box in terms of what skeletons fundamentally are. A skeleton, basically, is a device for transmitting work from muscles to the environment. Rigid elements, like bone, do this quite well. Surprisingly, water does this as well, and perhaps better than articulated skeletons can. The reason water can pull off this trick is that it is incompressible, which is its own form of rigidity. This makes water a very effective medium for transmission of work from muscles to the environment, which is fundamentally what skeletons do. As you watch the lectures to follow, I want you to keep three things in mind. First, what is it about water that makes it a good skeletal element? Second, what, in addition to incompressibility, helps make water a suitable material for a versatile skeleton? And third, how can a skeleton built from water build versatility into itself? In other words, how can a hydrostatic skeleton help muscle with its limited mechanical capabilities transmit work in a way that expands those capabilities? Thank you.